With the recent release of the Blast Paris 75% off sale, many Cisco investors have already begun to purchase capsules as an investment. With thousands of dollars being spent on this major collection, it might just be the most hyped investment since RMR back in 2020. But with the recent influx of new investors in the Cisco market, it has brought up a question that has become more important as we head into the release of Counter-Strike 2. Is capsule investing even worth it compared to other investments on the market? There's been no secret that capsules usually provide good profit every time a new major sticker collection comes around, but this investment might not be as effective as you think. Antwerp 2022 was one of those majors where investors saw massive profits from capsules, with notably the Legends capsule having a 12 times increase from 20 cents to $2.40. Even though this is the case, many hollow stickers provide better returns on investment. When we look at the stickers such as the Antwerp Phase Hollow, we can see that it had a 24 times increase from 89 cents to $21.21. .21. That is twice as many returns as the Antwerp Legends capsule. This isn't even a 1k scenario either. Most stickers from the Antwerp Major saw greater returns than capsules due to massive demand behind them. Although capsule investing may seem worse for this specific Major sticker collection, what about Stockholm 2021? Well, this is where capsules show their true potential as investments. The Stockholm 2021 Challenges capsule saw a 64 times increase over a 16 month period. The capsule went from 23 cents to $15.16, and the only hollow sticker to get better returns in this capsule was the Mouse Hollow, which had a 200 times increase. This means investing into capsules for the Stockholm 2021 Major was a much safer bet than investing into stickers, especially with how unknown the potential of investing was at the time. If investors decided to buy into a different Challenges sticker, they wouldn't make the same returns compared to the Challenges capsule or Mouse Hollow. From this analysis, you'd think capsule investing is better because it provides you with a good returns when you're not sure which sticker will perform the best. The issue behind this statement is ever since Stockholm 2021, the Cisco market has changed. Hollow stickers are no longer 15.98% to unbox and are instead 3.2%. Also, there are a lot more investors in the Cisco community willing to spend an exorbitant amount of money on sticker capsules, which lay dead in storage units for years without being opened in hopes they will provide profit, which deflates the price of capsules. This was seen firsthand with the Antwerp 2022 major capsules, as after the capsules were removed from the in-game store, they decreased in price due to the amount of supply that was around for the capsules. Sticker crafting has also increased in popularity, which explains why Antwerp hollow stickers become a better investment than capsules themselves. Many may see this comparison between stickers and capsules and think that capsule investing is much safer due to them always being the medium price between the cheapest and the most expensive stickers. The fact is that sticker investing has become a lot more theoretical nowadays due to the amount of data we have around sticker application rates. If you want to determine which sticker will see more benefits over capsules as an investment, then all you need to do is look at which sticker is being applied the most because more demand usually results in a higher price for an item in the long run. So is capsule investing not worth it? Well, this is where the Blast Paris capsules come into the picture. With the recent price increase of Paris Hollow stickers, it has created many positive effects on the Paris capsules. This has resulted in an ROI of all the capsules being 80% or higher, meaning many Blast Paris stickers are being valued so highly that the Paris capsules may be a decent investment long term. If the ROI stays high, we will see the highest demand for capsule openings ever which will flip the script for stick investing. But this entire situation comes with a catch. If the community starts to buy more capsules due to this theory spreading around the investing community, the ROI for these capsules will decrease. This is because more capsules will be open from the larger supply of capsules, meaning more holy stickers will exist to meet demand, which will decrease the value of the stickers. This results in another situation just like Antwerp 2022 for Paris, since there would be less benefits to opening the capsules. One reason Antwerp capsules were even profitable in the first place was because Valve created boarded stickers for Rio 2022. If Valve releases non-background stickers yet again for the PGL Copenhagen Major, Paris capsules will see stunted price growth long term, due to the unboxers wanting to open cheaper capsules with stickers that look just as good
build as Paris. This would create an even worse investment than Antwerp 2022 capsules since we will not see the same highs as Antwerp since there will always be some investor fear in the market until we see what the Copenhagen sticks look like. Whether you want to take the risk and hold on to Paris capsules up to the Copenhagen major is up to you. If things turn to everyone's favor and we get boarded stickers again, capsule investing will provide great long-term benefits. But overall, investing into stickers is a better option than capsules, since most of the time you'll be making better returns on investment. This is especially the case with a lot of the Paris stickers because they are so popular amongst the CS community. They will have plenty of demand no matter what happens in the market. Buying underrated stickers often gives the most opportunity, but that's for you to determine which ones are truly underrated. Throughout all of this though, capsule investing will always be a fundamental part of the market that shouldn't be ignored as there will always be demand for capsule unboxings, especially when CS2 comes around. Also, remember that 50% of the capsule profits go directly to the teams that participate in the CSGO major, so they also have great benefit outside of CSGO investing that can ensure the CS2 esports scene can thrive for years to come. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications and comment for your chance to win an M4A1S control panel. Thanks for watching.